Hey everyone, so today I am going to show you what we use in our whelping kit. These are the items I deem as essential to have on hand just before your puppies arrive and I like to get it set up at least a half a week to a week in advance. If you have a room that you can keep stock all the time, that's amazing. Anyway, I figured I'd walk you through what we use in our whelping kit. So the first thing we have is towels. I don't use our nice household towels. I actually have a stack of towels, hand towels, and baby blankets that we use when our puppies arrive. I actually have that load in the dryer now, so this is just the, the two that I had that weren't dirty. So you're definitely gonna need a good supply of towels and baby blankets. Next thing is a thermometer. You're going to need a digital thermometer that you can use rectally on your female. When a pregnant bitch is getting ready to whelp, her temperature will drop below 100 degrees. And once that happens, you know that labor is imminent within 12 to 24 hours. The average temperature range for a dame that goes into active labor is between 98 and 99 degrees. So you're gonna wanna monitor her temperature um, often starting a couple days before her due date and then, you know, up until after the babies are born to check for infection. The next thing we have are exam gloves, some kind of exam gloves to keep your hands clean when handling the puppies. I also like to have oral calcium on hand. You're gonna wanna give this to your female when she's in active labor, through active labor, and after each puppy is born. This is to prevent a deadly condition called hypocalcemia that can arise and does arise sometimes during canine whelping. The next thing you're gonna wanna have is chlorhexidine or some kind of disinfectant that is safe for puppies. Chlorhexidine is safe for newborn puppies, so I bought this off of revivalanimalhealth.com. You're going to dilute it into water, keep some of it pre-mixed. I've got some poured into this spray bottle so I can use it to disinfect her whelping tub after all the puppies are born. And then each time for cleanings. Also with the chlorhexidine, I've got some diluted chlorhexidine poured into this glass Pyrex, and then I keep Kelly hemostats. These are awesome. I use these to clamp off the umbilical cord. So yeah, Kelly hemostats, and you're gonna to wanna to keep them in the solution so they're clean. Scrub them before you put them in the solution. And then to cut the umbilical cord, I'm just gonna use some of these. These are actually bandage scissors, but they'll work just fine. Um, they're clean, they're sterile. So that's what we're gonna use. You could use a scalpel. You could, you know, you could use a lot of different things. So the idea is clean instruments. Let's see, moving on, we've got some iodine for the umbilical cords should I decide that they need that. You're also gonna want a bulb syringe to suck out mucus when the puppies are here. I've got some newborn bottles. This isn't the best brand, but I just grabbed what we had on hand here locally in our little town. A clean bottle brush. Goat milk replacer. This is in case you need to supplement if your female is not able to nurse immediately. You're also gonna wanna make sure that, you, that your puppies get clostrum within the first hour to two hours of life. If they don't get clostrum, you're gonna wanna buy a clostrum supplement from your local feed supply store. I also keep cotton swabs on hand for the iodine. And then also whelping pads. You can buy these on Revival Health. They even have some nice ones on Amazon, but they have a waterproof backing. The fabric is super absorbent and it's slip resistant for the puppies. So these are really nice. And instead of using blankets or sheets, you can just throw this down in the whelping box like is pictured here. And then when you need to change it, you've got backup. So order plenty of those. And then let's see, you're definitely gonna want a notepad and a good writing apparatus to keep track of the order in which the puppies are born, the time each puppy is born. You're gonna wanna record everything, their gender, their color, how much they weigh. I even measure in between their shoulder and hips. So you're gonna wanna, this is gonna be your best friend from the time contractions start to the time all the babies are delivered. And then I have a postal scale here and a little box I'm gonna use to measure the puppies. So you're just gonna turn it on and then put the box on, zero it out, and then put your puppy in to get the weight of each puppy. Um, and then another important item I like to have, I think I showed you the heating pad. So what I do with the heating pad is I keep a laundry basket for 
the puppies. And so I put a towel on the bottom, your heating pad. I usually do a towel over the top, but this is a thick quilt like baby blanket. So, and this is for, this is a safe, warm spot for the puppies while the mom is still delivering litter mates. So you're gonna wanna keep a safe, warm space for them while mom is still in labor. So make sure you have that on hand. I also like to have NutriCal on hand for newborn puppies. This really helps if their blood sugar dips slow, they become lethargic, hypoglycemic. Um, this has helped save some of our runts. I like to get this off of Amazon or RevivalAnimalHealth.com. I think I went over everything. I keep it all on a table. You can use shelves. Just make sure it's pre-set up, ready to go, and available for when it's go time. And last but not least, I like to keep a scrub top on that's clean before I deliver puppies. It's got these awesome pockets to keep your instruments and other things handy that you need during the labor and delivery. That's it for my puppy whelping kit. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, the next thing I'm going to be filming is Annie's labor and delivery. So stay tuned.